So let's see what safety hazard we have underneath the desk here. It looks like one power bar that's being plugged in and oh my word what a horror into it another power bar is plugged in yeah this one so is this a safety violation should you be extending a power bar and plugging another one into it also known as uh, leapfrogging one into another well I'm not saying you should but I'm saying you could over here I have evidence that the fantastic idea did not work out too well you see this one was plugged into the wall and uh, into this power bar another one was plugged in and uh, into this one multiple plugs were placed as well for the computers uh, monitors and that kind of stuff as well as into this one at one point somebody decided to plug into this one this heater and uh, what happened as a result is that this started smoking and it basically started a fire I just cleaned up everything after the suit and everything was you know washed off these so here you can see an example that really the setup doesn't work but uh, over here this setup has been working and functioning for years without any problems why is that so let me explain if you can add and read numbers this can work safely if you can't add and or if you're a retard this is never gonna work so let me explain what happened here I hope you can count up to 15 unassisted if if that's within your capabilities you should be able to handle this the 15 is this one electrical rating 15 amps all right so if you plug in your cute little radiator which looks like this okay an oil field radiator just because you're cold at the office what you're plugging in is that number there 12.5 amps all right so out of the total capacity of 15 you just spent 12 and a half and if the rest of the loads in the same circuit exceed 15 you're gonna have a happy house fire or office fire or uh, whatever your favorite location is so the reason why these have been working fantastically well for years is because they don't exceed 15 amps because all of these are rated for 15 amps so what do we have plugged in here and this one leads to this item here it looks like a PS3 let's see the label on it now the PS3 is drawing a load of 1.8 amps of course it's connected to a TV so I spun the TV around now the TV doesn't have an amp number it has wattage on it 97 watts so that watts needs to be converted quickly to amps and this is how it's done in North America because we run on 110 120 volts and the 97 is divided so that's so many amps 0 0.84 so the 0 0.84 gets added to that 1.8 and what else is plugged in and this one is plugged in leading to an Apple TV the Apple TV has a microscopic print just give me a sec here there 60 Hertz 0 0.3 amps so that's 0 0.3 gets added to the batch and then I'm gonna add everything in a sec and then we have the last cable here on this one leads to this router which is 5 volts 1 amp there so that's 1 amp then the next here we have this speaker or this is the adapter for the speaker assembly there it says 1 amp right around there in front of my fingernail so that's this power bar and 
On the other power bar, so this was the PS3, and we have two more black cables. One of them comes here to the modem. This Motorola modem is drawing there 0 0.1 amp there, 60 hertz. And last item is the computer, which is even with the iPhone being charged, the iPhone being plugged into the computer, the computer has here a rated draw of when it's plugged into North American 110 volts it's rated 6 amps when it's plugged into 220 volts then it's 3 amps so we're gonna go with the 6 okay so this is how it looks like when everything is added up the PS3 TV everything is still 11.08 amps not counting the load the iPhone places on the whole system so it's well within 15 amps now let me show you where the 15 comes from so this 11.08 can work indefinitely safely without any issues so let's go so here in the basement is the reason for the number 15 this is a breaker panel this model here was installed here in 1971 or so and you can see breakers on it those little tabs like so they flip and you can switch them on and off and they lead each to a circuit such as furnace fridge dryer whatever now these are 15 amp there some of them are 15 amp circuits and some of them are 30 amp circuits but most residential or office circuits have this 15 amp breaker in them as you can see most are displaying the number 15 there's one with 20 some with 40 some with 30 so most duplex outlets into which you can plug stuff in those are 15 amp circuits so that's what that's why there's a limit of 15 amps on most of these things now one more thing actually two more things you see it's a single display so you can't have your Apple TV running and computer running and PS3 running and displaying at the same time all drawing maximum current so it's not possible to even reach the calculated 11.08 amps because some of these devices exclude the use of others so with that said there's one more thing with this 15 amp thing so this is plugged into a duplex outlet into the duplex outlet in this case there's only a single cable plugged in but that outlet is on the same circuit on the same 15 amp breaker with that outlet all right and into this two things can also be plugged in so the 15 amp, the 15 amp limit on the circuit cannot be exceeded by the total of all of those and all of those okay that's also a 15 amp limit not only the power bar has a 15 amp limit but the circuit also is uh, limited to a maximum of 15 amps all right so keep this one in mind now there's no way of knowing on how many of these outlets are on the same single 15 amp circuit so it takes a little experimentation and diagnostics not going to discuss that but even if you overload a circuit with your devices then the breaker at the panel should flip why this one did not flip is a mystery and is going to be investigated there are additional breakers here they just look like switches because that's what a breaker is so if you overload this power bar this should flip and open the circuit or break the circuit and likewise this one too so why both of these or neither of these worked and why this resulted in a fire is gonna be taking a little investigation and it's gonna be on a completely different video but that's a safety device that's a safety device and this is essentially a safety device so if you overload the circuit these should function but like this example shows all of them may not and then you have a fire so that's why counting is kinda important